I took a three-week break from YouTube because I was completely burnt out. For the past year, uh, almost a year now, I've been doing music full-time now, and I've been trying to make money from it. I've been trying to grow from it. I've been trying to do a lot of stuff with this music uh, passion that I have. And that kind of led me to where I'm at today. Now, I'm not saying that I'm about to stop making beats or stop making music or even stop making YouTube videos. I just want to come on here and break the ice because I feel better. <laughs> like I don't know how else, to pe how else to put it, but you know I feel like I took a break and things are a lot better. Things are a lot more clear, and I feel like this is a, a good time for me to come to you guys with a, a different side of low key. You feel me? Like I don't really come on here and talk to you guys just one on one. I guess. So what led to me getting burnt out? Why did I burn out? I feel like I had this constant pressure constant pressure to create content, constant pressure to make beats, constant pressure to show up and perform, and it just kind of took its toll on me, and I just need, needed to just crash out for a little bit and just lie down and rot, you feel me? But let's actually talk about the break. Um, what did I do during this break? To be honest, at first, I really didn't even know I was taking a break. It kind of started with me missing a week on YouTube. I didn't upload a video. Um, I also missed a video on Patreon. I'm usually uploading videos on Patreon and on YouTube, and I kind of just fell off and, and missed those videos. And during that time, it was just like, I don't know, I just felt like I couldn't get no ideas, or I, if I did have ideas, I just couldn't get the energy to start those ideas because I was just daunting the idea of having to create a beat or create a, a vibe or something and make a tutorial out of that and record and have multiple takes and mess up and then during the editing process spent six to eight hours editing the video just to post it and you know cross my fingers and hope that it does good and if it does i'm happy and if it doesn't i'm not happy i suck i'm never gonna work out you know it's just like this constant tug of war and you know, I just kind of broke and I just, I broke the cycle. So I stopped uploading and it felt like that's just what I needed to do. And I couldn't do anything else. You feel me? So during the break, uh, like I would say like the first week, I just lied down and rot. Not really being productive, um, procrastinating a lot and just wasting time, consuming a lot of content. This thing, this thing is poisonous, you feel me? Phone, cell phones are an addiction nowadays. That first week, I was getting my, my fix. But after that first week, uh, I, I, I kind of felt a little bit more clear-headed, and I understood that I think I was just burnt out and I just needed to take a break. So that's when I just, I took the time to really connect with the things that I loved because uh, for the past three months, I haven't been doing things besides music. Other things that I love besides music, like skateboarding and hiking and just being out in the world and exploring, you feel me? I hadn't been doing that for the past few few months and I've had this tunnel vision and this hunger and I had, to, I had to forget that I'm still a human, you know? I still have emotions and I still need to maintain my health. So during that second week of my little break, I, just connected with what I love, you know? I was playing the piano, I was practicing the piano, I was practicing new concepts for the beats. I went back and revisited some old skeleton beats and, and beats I started on live streams and finished those up and made them sound good and made this little beat tape that I actually titled Break the Silence that I planned on releasing when I felt ready to come back to the public, I guess. So during that second week, really just put together a beat tape, played the piano, and, and just reconnected with, with the passion. And on that third week, uh, I was just really thinking about what I want for this channel. What do I want my life to look like, you feel me? Like, I understand that I have an opportunity right now that not a lot of people have or a lot of people take, and it's risky. I don't wanna regret my decisions five years from now. I don't wanna regret my decisions 10 years from now. It's scary, so. During that third week, I was really just thinking about um, the longevity of this business I'm trying to create. I don't, I don't really know what you want to call it. Like I'm, I'm just a cat in his room making beats. I really want to think about what I want from this, and even from this channel. Like let's, just, let's just keep it simple. I don't want to get too philosophical or anything, but this channel and specifically, what I want with this channel. Do I want to be that guy posting tutorials for 10 years? 
or five years and then, you know I'm just re-uploading the same tutorials just changing a few things every once in a while or do I want to be that guy where all I ever do is post beats you know I just want to I don't know I was just thinking about what I want this channel to be I decided that I wanted this channel to be almost like a documentary of my journey of my career I guess you can say and during this journey, I want you guys to see the different changes. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys might notice the change in my room, things like different desks and new pets and gear coming along the way and, and all this stuff. So I want this channel to be a place where you guys can come back and see the progress in myself as an individual, the progress in the music, the progress in the channel and I just want you guys to just really see the see the change I, I want to document that change and I want to be able to look back years from now and see the change and see the progress and see where I came from and either look back at it and be happy that I worked as hard as I did or look back at it and regret that I didn't work harder so yeah that's gonna bring me into the lessons I learned during this break so my biggest takeaways from this three week long break is it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to take a step back and regenerate and revive those creative juices. No matter if you're a musician, an artist, a, a, a singer, a songwriter, a film director, a book writer, it's, it's always good to take a step back from the creativity side and regenerate and live life and have experiences you know that's kind of what I discovered that I was taking away from myself was experiences because I was just tunnel vision into the music into the beats into the my future and stuff and I just had to take a step back and reconnect with what I love you know I think it's just really important to understand the balance of it it's okay to have high moments it's okay to have low moments but it's really important for you to be able to identify when those highs are coming in and prepare for it and it's also important to be able to recognize when those lows are going to come in and be able to prepare for that. Like, you know, I think it's time for me to take a step back or it's time for me to take a step away from creating and maybe I need to start listening or con consuming uh, art. You feel me? So that's kind of how I view it. And another thing is for this YouTube channel for myself, like I don't want to just come off this break and do the same things that I was doing prior to the break. So. For this channel, I want to start just incorporating more talking head videos like this, where I'm just coming at you guys raw. It might be edited because I'll be stuttering and I might say some shit that I don't uh, like right there. It might be cut up because your boy be stuttering and he be saying stuff that don't even make sense sometimes. But yeah, with this channel, I just want to I just want to connect with you guys a little bit more. I, I don't want to just have a shield up and all I do is tutorials. And, and, and product reviews. So yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. And also, uh, speaking about that beat tape that I was working on, yeah, man, I, I made a beat tape, 13 beats. It's called Break the Silence because I want to break the silence with the music. I want to let the music speak. So I released it uh, yesterday, actually, because today is Saturday. I'm actually about to start streaming right now. But uh, I released it yesterday on Bandcamp only. Make sure you check it out. It's 13 beats, some old, some new, some beats that you might heard, some that you might have not heard. So check it out. I think they're pretty dope. A lot of people liked it and maybe you'll like it. So with all that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this kind of content. You know, I don't want to just make uh, cook up videos. I don't want to just make tutorials. I don't want to just do product reviews and plug in reviews and stuff like that. I want to actually connect with you guys and, and build a, a, a strong foundation and community with y'all. You feel me? So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, y'all. Peace out.